Larissa. Hey, Larissa. Are you calling me Harry? <laughs> I, I mean, listen, I thought she was going to talk to me. I thought you were going to point here. to me when you were doing it. Full I mean, I don't know. You're Harry just here. Your brows um, are much nicer than mine, Larissa. Thank you, Cameron. Thank you. I try. Thanks, guys. I have an adorable dog over here that you have to meet. Speaking of Harry, this is Lambykins. And I bet you can understand why. She is an albino multi-poo, and she kind of looks like a little lamb. She was rescued from a shelter here in L.A., and she is now with a wonderful rescue called Pet Adoption Fund. She is three years old. She has human eyes, if I've ever seen human eyes on a dog. She has the cutest little wiggle tail. Look at that. Look at it. It's like a little rabbit. Um, she was in the medical department of the shelter because she has very sensitive skin, being that she's albino, and she had a little growth on her nose. So the wonderful rescue stepped up and got that fixed. So that's why she has a little freckly uh, scar on her nose, but she's doing really well in healing um, as she loves people. She loves kids. Let's look at the camera so they can see her pretty face. There we go. And she's an all around good girl. Again, she's three years old and her name is Lambykins because she looks like a lamb. And you can find out more online at petadoptionfund.org. And I do want to talk about something uh, a little bit serious for, for a second. Pet Adoption Fund has done a lot of great work helping out with all the fire uh, issues going on down here in Southern California. And they actually went the other day to West Valley Animal Shelter and pulled out seven large dogs and there they are leaving the shelter and going into the van on their way to a rescue and what that allows is it allows for extra kennels to be used by large and small dogs that are coming in from the evacuation zones and I was there just the other day and there were a lot of open or closed kennels I should say with a sign on them that read that they are disaster animals and so for now that is where they are living until they can be reunited or find another uh, home so pet adoption fun.org doing a lot of great work here and you can find out more about Lambykins on their website and please go to your local rescue or shelter because any open kennel is a good kennel right now because there's they're doing so much transporting of animals from these disaster zones so please give one or two an adoption ever after